Hey, welcome to Five Star Guns and Gear, and today we've got another product review for you. Again, from uh, Vector Optics, as y'all know, uh, I'm official reviewer for uh, Vector Optics. Uh, they have sent me another scope to kind of share with uh, everyone, and uh, what we got here today is the Paragon 6 to 30 by 56 Gen 2 scope. Uh, if you go take a look at our video from last month, we actually uh, tested out the Vector Optics Paragon in a one-inch tube. I told everybody the benefits of a one-inch tube, and uh, I discussed briefly the benefits of a 30 millimeter tube. This is the 30 millimeter version, and uh, of course, this is a uh, little bit bigger platform, uh, different magnification scope, uh, but it is in the same series. It is in the Par Paragon series, so. I'm going to show you what we got sent today, and I'll show you what we uh, tested last month. This is the one-inch tube. It's on this custom 1022 rifle, and if you go take a look at that video, it performed flawless. I actually love this scope. The optics are absolutely stunning. They're clear, uh, and uh, you really need to go check out that review video and uh, check out this optics. I got some great video of us shooting this gun, and... Uh, courtesy of trigger cam was able to uh, get y'all some uh, video footage right through the scope so and we're gonna do the same with this one as well so I have an idea what we're gonna put this on already I'll discuss that in just a moment but let's get into this and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and pan the camera around we'll kind of compare the two scopes and um, from the one inch and the 30 millimeter tube and I'm going to go ahead and go into a little bit more in depth why you might want a 30 millimeter tube scope. Last month I discussed the benefits of the one inch tube. Now we're going to go into the benefits of a 30 millimeter. And you're going to, you can make up your mind from there what works best for you. Uh, again, this is a Paragon 630 by 56 Gen 2 scope. Let's go ahead and open it up. I absolutely love their packaging on their scope. It's like open a high end smartphone just that uh high quality in their packaging go ahead and take out the uh, phone and we got the uh warranty information on here this particular scope has a five-year warranty on it so uh i will uh set that to the side here and then we have the user manual right here And it is in various languages. Pretty cool. We have a Vector Optics uh, decal. Also got one of their pretty cool uh, Vector Optics uh, Velcro patches. Show you. Carry mine on my range bag. So, uh, don't have a place to put it over here, but uh, I've got uh, some other places I can put another one of these. So that's pretty cool. Also have the uh, little challenge coin, the little poker chip that it comes with. Pretty cool. And uh, they actually have a uh, discount code on this particular chip. So if you want to order some more stuff, so very, very cool. Of course, I showed you all this in the last episode. It's just a cleaning cloth. It's pretty neat. It's just a little holder, and it's got a cleaning cloth inside it. Love to have that uh, on hand. That way, if you need to wipe your lenses and stuff off. This right here is going to be your throw lever for this particular scope. Here is your Allen wrench. What I do like about this scope that this one did not come with is it does come with a sunshade. So that's nice to have the sunshade. And along with that scope right there, it comes with these nice uh, 30 mil Picatinny, high, high, high quality uh, rings. So this is the x rings. Hopefully y'all can see that there. Go ahead and show y'all this, just in case you did not see this last video. Uh, very, very, very high quality rings. 
and they're included with this scope. Now this scope's price point is about $450 US. Uh, and you can uh, find it on Amazon. You can go to Optics Planet. Um, and uh, if you're across the pond, there's several places uh, that you can order it online. So uh, these are very, very high quality rings. Of course, the last ones we got are one inch rings. These are 30 mils because this is a 30 mil tube. You have six uh, cap screws and uh, very, very heavy duty. Love these rings. Uh, really, really enjoyed um, using those on this build right here and uh, worked out really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the uh, box out of the way. And we probably will go ahead and bring this scope over here and we'll do a little bit of comparison. I'll go ahead and show you the highlights and everything. You do get some uh, scope covers. One end is clear and actually both ends clear on here. So, and they do have a protective film on them. So if you look through here and you see that there's bubbling on here, there is a protective film. If I can reach in there and grab it. Sorry guys, my fingers are not working too well here. Got these films right here and it's just to protect this. So make sure you peel that off. Looks like it's on the inside and outside to keep scratches away from it during shipping and everything. Uh, that way you have, if you leave these on there while you're shooting, uh, that way you have uh, something clear to look through and it's not hazy because if you leave these on it is gonna kind of impede your vision just a little bit and that's all there is to that so we'll set this off to the side let's take a little bit closer look at the scope That is the scope overall. It is gonna take a 2032 battery. It does not come with the 2032 battery. However, always keep some on hand. Actually, I need to get some more. This is my last one. I'll go ahead and install this battery. Simple as that. And I'm gonna show you some of the features of this and uh, we'll kind of go over it in more detail. Let me just take a look through it. This is the first time I'm looking through here. Oh yeah. Edge to edge. Clarity. Expected no less. And the uh, reticle is like the same as that paragon there. It is a just center dot, red dot. You can change the intensities. There is uh, six intensity levels on here for your reticle, uh, for the dot on it, for the illumination. And there is an off between every uh, intensity level. So let's say uh, you wanted to dial up to intensity number um, three right here and you wanted to turn it off, you just click it one way or the other, just one notch and that'll turn it off. And uh, what's nuts nice about that, a lot of your lower end scopes, you'll have to go dial all the way around to go to zero to go to off. Uh, on this particular scope, very, very well built. You don't have to do that. Uh, also, let's see, you have your uh, magnification and this particular one is six to 30 on this. It is a 56 millimeter uh, objective and the uh, parallax is the side focus parallax just like on that one do like that it does have uh, locking turrets just like this one over here I love that feature and let's see what else I can see right off the bat to tell you guys um, of course of course your adopter is adjustable I'll uh, get the specs for you I believe it's uh, 
a plus 1.5 to a negative 2.0. I'm not sure on that. I will uh, find out uh, throughout this video. I'll let you know for sure on the specs on that. Um, so pretty cool. Again, Paragon. Of course, it's got the Vector Optics logo on it. Very, very, very nice. Well, well built uh, scope. Expect nothing less out of uh, Vector Optics. So, uh, very happy that they sent me this. They uh, wanted me to get one since I discussed the uh, 30 millimeters in our last uh, video uh, just briefly. They wanted to go ahead and send me one. That way I can show you guys exactly what the 30 millimeter series looks like. And as I said in that video, this 30 millimeter is absolutely available. Now, uh, it does have a lot of benefits to it and we're gonna go over that. This one is in mils, just like that one. Uh, so it's uh, one tenth mils, one clicks equals one tenth of a mil. And as I discussed in that video, the benefits of your 30 millimeter tube is that you uh, get more adjustment for your turret. So longer range shooting and stuff like this, this is your better choice if you're gonna shoot long range. Uh, rather than a one inch tube. One inch tubes have their benefits all day long within a couple hundred yards. I'd say get a one inch tube. Don't add the extra weight, weight to your gun. Um, you really don't need it. Like this one right here has plenty of magnification for what it does. Absolutely perfect for that particular gun right there. If you're gonna shoot long range, that's when this is gonna come in play. Or let's say that you are getting into PCP air rifles and wanting to do what's called long range on PCP air rifles, which is two, 300 yard shots. Uh, this is what you're gonna wanna look for because you're gonna get more elevation and windage adjustment because of the tube being 30 millimeters. So that's gonna be your benefit there. So uh, another thing I do like about this, this is uh, adjustable down to 15 yards, the parallax, and it goes up to 500 sure if y'all can see that and to infinity so really really nice so this is suitable for anybody that does long range shooting in center fire all the way down to pcp air rifles because it will go down to 15 yards absolutely perfect for that so um, a lot of scopes do not uh, go down that far matter of fact i believe this one goes down to 10 Yes, this one goes down to 10 on this uh, Vector Paragon right here. So, there you go. That kind of gives you an idea of right there what you're looking at. So, if you need one to go down less than 15, you might consider the one-inch tube. That way, uh, you get one that goes down to 10. Definitely check that out. If you're going to be doing some long-range shooting and stuff like that, I'd highly recommend this. I've got a impact, uh, a FX impact M3. We're talking that gun specced out close to three grand the way it sets. And this is probably the optics that's going to go on it because it's designed, it's going to be shooting slugs. And uh, this is probably going to be more suitable for it. Also may go ahead and put this on like the 6.5 Creedmoor. Might even sh uh, throw it on the uh, 300 PRC and check it out. Uh, not sure yet if we're going to do that or not on that gun because I got everything set up and tuned to that gun for long range. It's I hate taking scopes off and putting them back in on an active gun that I use all the time. Uh, kind of like leaving it alone. But uh, we may uh, go ahead and put that on there. Uh, this is certainly uh, rated to handle it. Not a problem at all. Uh, like I said, do like that come with the sunshade. The uh, of the Paragon right here. It did not uh, have a sunshade included, but this one, this particular model does. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and spin the camera around real quick. Let's go ahead and just give y'all kind of overhead. That way I can kind of go over all the features of this uh, scope for you guys show you how it works then we're going to actually take it the range we're probably going to set it up initially on the uh, fx impact and do a little shooting with that do a little distance shooting with that as well and see how this holds up on it and uh 
that's going to be pretty exciting to get that on there and actually see how she she does so let's go ahead and get the cameras all right here we go this is our two vector paragon scopes right here of course this is the one we reviewed uh, last month did an awesome job out at the range and this is the 4 to 20 by 50 tactical model very 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 nice scope this is a one inch tube and uh of course it's got the 50 millimeter objective excellent larry optics absolutely crystal clear glass on this love love the glass on this uh edge to edge uh clarity actually love that and the same with this scope right here now the difference on this scope right here it does have a 30 millimeter tube where this has a one inch tube of course go check out our other video i'll show you all the benefits of a one inch tube this is uh, very good to have one inch tube scopes for different applications. Then other applications when you're shooting long range, that's when your 30 millimeter uh, becomes a little bit better option. It's not the tube sides here that's gonna give you better line transmission. It's gonna be in your lenses and your objective. Uh, a lot of that has to do with it and less about the tube size. Your tube diameter, your tube diameter is gonna come into play though when you talk about adjustment for your reticle for your elevation and your windage adjustment you have more travel and uh, in the 30 millimeter tubes than you do in the one inch tubes so you're actually going to get better benefits on this anytime you're shooting at distance so keep that in mind so some of the benefits of this one uh, both of these are true 5x uh, zoom form factors and it does have the Larry lenses on both of these. Um, and it has a constant four inch uh, eye relief. And it's got a very good uh, wild field of view. Now the uh, Larry lenses and the V Pro uh, FMC, you get 90% on both of these light transmission through here. So a lot of people complains about dusk and dark uh, shooting situations where they have a hard time seeing. When you have good quality lenses, that's going to immensely help your shooting out. And both of these optics come with that. So very, very good. Um, you do have a uh, side parallax on both of these. These are in the same series. You're just dealing with different size tubes, basically. But it's basically um, the same overall series of scope here just the form factors are just slightly different so you do have side parallax on both of them this one of course goes down to 10 yards this one goes down to 15. so there is some variance on that they both have uh, etched glass reticles they're both of these are in mills uh, this will take a uh, lapua 338 so you can mount that on that magnum rifle and not have any issues so uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. These are built really, really well. Uh, this is not a low budget scope that you're going to shoot, you know, one time in a centerfire rifle, let's say a 308 or something like that, and it shake apart. You can actually shoot a 338 Lapua in this, and it's going to be able to handle that recoil. So that's really nice. Um, these both, uh, are really very great at tracking. Uh, I have seen these before and they track really, really well. This one absolutely passed the box test with flying colors. We'll do a box test on this one as well. And I have no doubt that this scope will have no problems passing the box test at all. It does have six levels of illumination like I'm showing you guys here. And between each of those levels, what I was showing you is these dots are the off. So uh, you have the option of illumination on, off, next illumination, off. And uh, that's really nice to have that off between your illumination levels. So let me go ahead and turn this off for I forget it and uh, don't want to run the battery down. Uh, now, uh, it does come with these nice Picatinny 30 millimeter rings, which you can see here, this one come up with the one inch rings. These are have four cap screws where this one has six. 
a little bit beefier, but you're talking about a beefier scope overall. So uh, these rings are absolutely stellar. I love these rings. Very, 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 very high quality. These rings alone are at least $80, $90 rings. Easily to find something that equivalent of that. So uh, very, very, very nice rings. Um, as far as uh, the uh, ocular length is uh, 53 millimeters. The exit pupils, 9.5, the one and a half millimeters. It does have the FMC uh, coating on this, optical coating on this. Your field of view at 100 yards on this is 18.8 to 38 feet just it's gonna depend on your zoom right here so just keep that in mind so 18 feet basically to 38 feet so that's nice your field of view at a hundred meters is 6.3 to 1.3 meters um, this does have a constant eye relief of four inches on this particular scope the weight of the scope is 700 grams or 24.7 ounces so uh, keep that in mind it's not actually not too heavy at all. So I actually like the weight of the scope with the size and everything. So very nice scope. The parallax is 15 yards to infinity. The reticle in here is a VPA-2 and it is etched glass. And uh, we'll get a shot of this in the trigger cam and everything. That way you can see it and everything. But it is uh, like a mill tree reticle in there. Very, very nice. And I like it also because it is a finer hair reticle. So if you target shoot, this is actually going to be stunning for you target shooters. A lot of us target shooters, it's precision for bullseye shooting and stuff. You want that crosshair to be as thin as possible. And this particular reticle in here has a very fine uh, reticle in it. And I really, really, really like it in that. Now your click values, as I said before, the one tenth mils per uh, click and your elevation is 17 and a half mils your windage is 17 and a half mils of course this just comes in the uh, black finish but i like that pretty much put it on any gun you want it's going to look awesome on there now this is shock tested to 750 uh grams so uh this has been shock tested, and that's why they say uh, 338 Papua. This will withstand the recoil of that gun. So uh, keep that in mind. It's really nice. It is also IPX6 waterproof uh, rated. So one meter at 30 minutes is what that equ equates to. Um, very good uh, waterproof rating on that. Your focus marks on your parallax are going to be 15, 20, 30, 50, 75, 100, 200, 300, and 500. And then it's going to go into your infinity. So uh, you're going to get your 15 right there. Again, 20, 30, 50, 75, 100, 200, 500, and infinity. All these adjustments, just like on this one right here, is absolutely smooth. Uh, I like the smoothness of everything. Your clicks are very positive, and we'll go over that in just a second. Um, nothing's really different between these two when it comes to that. Everything's very, very smooth uh, on these scopes. It is fully nitrogen purged to eliminate any fogging. So uh, you have that going for you. And what's really nice about these uh, Paragon scopes is, um, like this one come with scope covers. This one comes with uh, lens covers as well, a little bit different style for this one. And uh, also comes with a set of rings, very, very high quality rings. And of course you get your cleaning cloth. Like I said before, this is a true 5X zoom factor and it is a 30 millimeter monotube uh, construction. Okay, so your overall length, and uh, I did not measure this with the sunshade on it, and I can tell you the sunshade is going to add just a little bit to it. Your overall length is going to be 15.7 inches, then you can add to that an additional approximately three inches to that. So you're looking at uh, overall with the sunshade, it's going to be 18.7 inches. 
Your objective is gonna be 2.36 inches here. Your diopter is 1.57 inches or 40 millimeters here. And it also includes uh, your throw lever. So it does not have the throw lever installed. You just take this uh, plug out right here and you screw your throw lever, lever in. And it does include it and it is right here. Matter of fact, we can go ahead and put that on there. And that's something nice about the Vector Optics on the Paragon series, is both of these included their levers. So you didn't have to worry about buying one separate. A lot of scope manufacturers do not include a throw lever. They'll, they will offer uh, aftermarket uh, piece that you can add on usually or a lever that you can buy separate. Um, a lot of them are clamp-on levers. These are uh, screw-ons. I do like that a little bit better than the clamp-ons. Uh, the manufacturers that do uh, sell their separate with the clamp-on, that's an added expense. And sometimes it's $100 added expense for just a lever. I'll say $100 probably more around the $70 price range. But it, there again, that's an added expense that they include just something simple like this to throw lever in as part of the package. Very, very, very nice. As you can see, the overall length between the two of these, as far as length, is about half inch longer here. And I would say probably about three quarters of an inch down here. So overall, let's just say an inch and a half longer. Uh, the form factor itself is almost identical as far as the turret height and the width. Everything else is really, really close to each other. So if you did decide to go with the 30 millimeter route, you're not going to be gaining a whole lot of size uh, to it. Of course, if you put the sunshade on it, that will increase the size considerably. Uh, but it's not going to be a huge, massive difference. And they're very, very comparable in weight. There is some weight differences, but not a whole lot. What you're gaining with this is your adjustability in your uh, turrets. So you get that windage and your elevation. So uh, something else I do like about the Paragon series here is this right here locking turrets and let's just go ahead and dial these not sure if my camera's picking it up very positive clicks crisp They are not mushy. Now all we got left to do is mount this on the gun that we want to go ahead and test it on and uh, take it out the range, do a little bit of uh, testing with it, go ahead and get y'all some scope cam footage. That way y'all can see in the scope what I'm going to be able to see as far as the reticle and everything. And uh, this is a second focal plane scope, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're looking for a first focal plane, uh, Vector does have some great options for first focal plane scopes. Uh, but this one right here is a second focal plane. So keep that in mind. So if you need a second, uh, first focal plane, this particular model right here is not what you're gonna be looking for. Uh, however, for most shooters, it's gonna work just perfect for, not gonna have any issues. So let's get this mounted up. Let's take it to the range, check it out. Uh, I will do a box test. I'm not sure if I'm going to video the box test or not. Y'all know how the box test goes. It's either going to pass or not pass the box test. I have no doubt it's going to pass without any problems. I uh, haven't ever had any issues with the uh, Vector Optics passing a, a box test. So don't expect to have one now. Uh, if there is any issues, I will let y'all know. Uh, like I say, don't expect any issues at all with uh, the box test. Also, uh, we'll definitely go ahead and get some scope cam footage and uh, we'll get some scope cam footage. That way y'all get to see exactly uh, what we're seeing through the scope and go ahead and put this through its paces. Again, uh, that is what we're looking at. And next time I see you, I'll see you at the range and then we'll be wrapping this up. Hey, welcome to Five Star Guns and Gear. And today we're gonna be uh, shooting this uh, FX Impact M3 and we have our Vector Paragon 
And this is the uh, 6 to 30 uh, power 56 millimeter objective. This is a Paragon series. Has the Lariti uh, optics in it, very clear glass. Uh, we're going to shoot this sucker at 200 yards. We're going to use holdover uh, based on the wind. We got about a four mile an hour wind. It's uh, gusting on and off. Uh, we are shooting uh, JSB. This is 30 uh, caliber, and these knockouts are 50.15 grains. So we're going to send those down range. I don't expect to hit the target every time because I'm going to have to hold so much at 200 yards. Uh, I'm not going to dial the turrets. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just shoot it like it is, just with holdover. I'm probably going to have to just see the top side of that target to hit at this distance. But I'm going to just show you what this uh, scope can do uh, on this particular gun. Now on a different gun, uh, be able to shoot a, a whole lot further than this. Uh, but with a pellet rifle, you have a lot of drop, especially a 30 caliber at 50 grains. It's going to drop a ton at 200 yards. We're going to see if we can hit a square plate that's about a 10 inch square plate down there. And uh, let's see what it does. Uh, very impressed with this. This is very, very uh, uh, close in design to the uh, Paragon with one inch tube that I reviewed last month. So you have to go check out that video and uh, we'll give you some more information about this particular scope as well. So, and the benefits, which is this one's more for long range shooting. Uh, the one inch scope on this particular gun would not be good, probably past 100, 150 yards, where this one's gonna do a lot better job. And then I'll be able to take care of uh, my additional elevation through my turrets if I wanted to. So, and see if we can make some impacts down range. A 200 yard distance shot and I may not get in on the first couple tries because I am having to hold for windage also. It is the first time right there. So 200 yards and I'm having to hold a lot. Uh, we could go ahead and dial this uh, if we needed to. Uh, and what we do for that is just use our ballistic app and it would tell us because this is set on 50 yards to tell us what to dial out for uh, whatever yardage we are uh, on this one I'll have the ballistic app in front of me so I'm just uh, estimating some uh, holdover using the reticle so that's working out really good let's see if we can hit it again And once again, we hit it 10 inch plate, 200 yards with the pellet rifle. So very, very impressive, especially how much drop the 30 caliber has. Uh, so we're gonna continue shooting at the range. I'll go ahead and put some more video up, just shooting paper. Uh, but I think that's very, very impressive. And uh, we'll shoot some uh, closer range targets as well. That way we don't have to have as much holdover and stuff and uh, show you what it's doing.